So the first time that you do hair hanging, if you take the weight all the way off, your scalp actually pops. It's like a loud like noise, which is, I think, the worst part of the whole thing. Like from point A to point wherever I'm going, like that moment is the craziest because you're already kind of scared and then you literally hear your body making this noise that tells you like your scalp is separating. Hair hanging is a traditional circus practice, goes back many years, and it's essentially hanging from your hair. My name is Erin Blair, I'm an aerialist, and I specialize in aerial hair hanging. So I was an aerialist already, and then during the quarantine, I was spending a lot of time with my friend and coach, Amadeus Lopez. He knows hair hanging, he learned it in Mexico, and we were like, well, let's try it. We have all this time on our hands, we had space, so we started working together and he taught me the process of doing the hair. Initially, when he said that we should try it, I was really scared. I felt like, I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this, it sounds really painful, but he was like, no, you got it, you can do it. Let's just try it, see if your hair is long enough, you know, we'll see how it goes. And it was super painful. The first time uh, I couldn't take my feet off the ground, I felt like my entire scalp was just gonna totally pop off, like sharp shooting pain. And over time, it just became less painful and I had more endurance. I saw that, okay, my scalp is not gonna rip off my head, the hair is there, it's good. Initially, I could only do it for five minutes, 10 minutes at the most. Like, even with my feet on the ground, just it felt so painful that it, it, it felt like I had to stop. I could take one foot off and then the other foot off, and then I could have both feet off for 30 seconds. And after a few months, it just felt super natural. There is a right kind of hair, but also if you have the right attitude, there isn't necessarily. I feel like there are people that definitely have stronger hair than me, longer hair, thicker hair, but I felt really strongly that I wanna do this and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to do it. So as I've come up against certain obstacles with hair breakage or hair loss or pain, I've just had to go back a step each time and be like, okay, well, how can I fix this? Like, this is my tool. Basically, my hair is my violin, I like to say, so I wanna make sure that it's in the best shape it can be. So have you like changed like how you brush your hair or what you brush your hair with? Um, well, I started brushing my hair. I mean, before, I just like, I feel like my hair was like a total second thought, you know? Like, I was like, whatever. But yeah, I started like combing it. I have multiple combs, like I use like a wide but tooth comb. But now it's like the most important thing that you have. Yeah, exactly. So, like, when you started doing it, like, did anything change in your hair? Or did you have to change your hair care regimen? Both, totally. When I started doing it, my hair was not in the best shape ever. I already had had two perms, like back to back on top of each other. Like spiral perms? Um, like, like a body wave, you cute, know, they cute, call cute, it now. Cute, cute, Yeah, and I love them, but for the hair hanging, you want your hair to be like in as best condition as possible, so you're not supposed to do any chemical treatments. And really, like, it wasn't that um, practical for me to start training it while my hair was so damaged, but it's also like opportunities to learn hair hanging. It's like once in a lifetime, like it's almost impossible to find someone that's willing to teach it to you because it's like a very secret traditional circus practice. So I had the opportunity and I knew that my hair wasn't like primed and ready, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna learn it. We'll see what happens. Like, if Has I anyone ever like, has their hair ever like broken or like, like, like fallen off? I guess, and then they can't hang from their hair anymore? Is that like I, I haven't heard of, any, if you do the hair correctly, it shouldn't come undone. Like, it's like a whole elaborate process. It takes like 45 minutes to do the hair. And if you do it right, it should never come undone. It could maybe get like a little bit looser, but it, it should be secure. You keep it wet the entire time and it feels much better. I, I don't know So while you're performing, exactly. do you wet your hair down? Yeah, so I have just like a spray bottle and then like you get the hair wet to start with and then you just need to maintain that so you're like, that like, is like a cat, like wild. So 
for getting the hair ready, there is a specific way that you do it. There are actually a few specific ways. Um, I always do it the same way, the way that I was taught. And then I've had to make a few tweaks and adjustments for my hair and my head, things that I thought worked better for me. And that was just problem solving that I had to do on my own and that I think like ultimately if you want to have a super unique skill and something amazing, you kind of have to go through that on your own to figure out how you're going to do it for yourself. So putting up the hair usually takes me about 25 to 30 minutes if everything goes perfectly, which it doesn't always because it's a pretty labor intensive process. So sometimes if I have to redo something, it can take me up to 45 minutes or even an hour. The things that I need to do my hair are really specific and if I'm doing a show or practicing I have to make sure that I have every single one of those things. If I'm missing one then I won't be able to do the hair properly. I stretch for about an hour, sometimes even more because I like to do a lot of flexibility things when I'm hair hanging. And then uh, the ring that's in the hair clips into what you're hanging from. I started the hair hanging not knowing exactly where I was going with it, but realized pretty early on that I really love it and that I want to do whatever it takes to continue doing it and growing this act. You know, I grew up as a dancer and I've always loved being very physical. I was terrible at sports growing up and I sort of had this idea like, oh, my body can only do this. Like, I'm not good at that but I could dance. And then as I got more into aerial and more into this really intense training over the past year, I saw that my body is capable of so much. Like if I've learned anything from circus, it's that you can absolutely do anything you put your mind to. And uh, if your heart is in it, your body will cooperate. 